All right, very, very, very exciting times here. We got Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel strength rye. Now, we are huge fans of the original uh, cast, cast barrel strength um, Jack Daniels, mm -hmm. the gold label. And as soon as I knew, uh, as soon as I found out they're putting out a rye, I got excited, waited for it to come out uh, for, to actually find one in a store because I know people were buying them on the secondary for like 220 bucks or whatever. But I just held off and I finally did. I finally did find one in the store, MSRP for 60 bucks. Um, this one, my theory is the higher the proof, the tastier. And this one I got at 132.7 proof, which is pretty incredible for a rye because I was talking about lately how all the even if you get a barrel strength or cast strength rye they're always at like 115 proof and I was always wondering like why can't they have like a higher proof rye I like it high I like it spicy well here it is and as you can see it's unopened and this is our complete first reaction I never tried like a Jack Daniels rye before so you know let's keep it short and simple just go get, get mm -hmm. into it all right it was very unexpected find, right? Yeah, because at the store, I went, it was during a holiday at a store and there were so many people at the store, I was like, I'm not gonna find anything, everything, like all the shelves should have been like picked through. Mm -hmm. And they were, like the smaller section, like the... Here. The smaller section bottles were like almost all gone and this was the last one on the shelf. Wow. So. Get super, got super lucky. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Like, what is your expectations? Uh, the hard hitting, super flavorful. I mean, huge fan of Knob Creek rye. Like the, the like the single barrel stuff, so I was thinking that, but just cranked up a notch because that stuff was like 115 proof. What okay. about you? Um, I mean, recently we really started appreciating rye more. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. From Old Forester, mm -hmm. that's a good rye. Yeah, uh, Old Ezra it's, Seven. It's, oh, uh, yeah, it's, Old Ezra Seven rye, the uh, MGP stuff. That's on a different level. It doesn't even taste like a rye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. But what? Just do the nose first. Yes. It smells like banana. It's very Still? Jack, Jack Daniels. I think very Jack Daniels uh, traditional smell. No. For how for high how uh, high proof this is, I'm not. It's not burning my like uh, nose hairs off. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it does have like the, the Jack Daniels funk to it mm -hmm, in a mm -hmm. good way. I think it's it, it always smells like banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It's like pure caramel. Damn. Wow. I mean, I watched... I watched some videos on, on, on this uh, release and some people were saying this is kind of hit or miss depending on what barrel you have, but the one we have is pretty, really good, huh? And it doesn't even feel like very high proof. No, no, no. It, it goes, drinks way, way, way smoother than that. Can you say like smooth? Shit, I said the S word. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Weirdly, it's not, I kind of already knew what it was going to taste like in a way because I just imagined Jack Daniels, the barrel strength, cast strength, single barrel, but just rye edition. And this is like, if, if you just imagine that, if you had the, or like the regular gold label, it, this is what it is. Well, I think you can tell that it's rye because it has kind of like a bitter aftertaste, which I think very common in rye. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely has some like this. The right notes too, but. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stop this? All right, hard cut. The cat was making all, chewing the blocks here. <laughs> I, I couldn't even think, couldn't concentrate on this thing. Okay. So what, what type of notes are you getting? Besides like, you're uh, you're very, you're like a very like, sweet person. Mm -hmm. You love you love sweet, is it sweet? Mm -hmm. Is it Buckner's 13? Augusta Buckner's 13 sweet? Yeah, it's very sweet. Like, it's like caramel, and then a lot of smoke, like smoky, and then... I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, like barrel tannins. Like even spice, like you can feel like sp some spices. Mm -hmm. I'm and getting... It's like after almost like a last note, it's like a bitterness. Yeah, like a, like a kind of like a nice, like a, like a barrel, like a, like a, like the bitterness of a barrel. That's like uh, if like a bourbon's been, you know what I mean, aging for a while. But also I think it's like, it's very com common in rice. Like uh, rice have this like a uh, bitter aftertaste. Sometimes yeah. it, 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 in some rice, sometimes in other rice, you can feel bitterness right away. Like, from first notes, but this one—it's like got like a like a mint, minty, mintiness to it. Do you think? Yeah, actually, it's got like a little uh, mouthwash mintiness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say menthol. That would be like too too strong of a word. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. I don't know. It's probably not for everyone. Because well, being such high proof, it probably like it eliminates most, like a lot of people that actually drink bourbon that like, or just whiskey, just like the smooth, yeah, like the, the patty drinkers, like the smooth stuff, the Blanton's drinkers, you know. Because from the last bourbon event we attended, it feels like most of people just like to drink very vintage, <laughs> like like old school four roses, that type uh, of stuff. That's like like ninety. Nine, nine, 90 proofers, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Old like, school Elijah Craig's. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I think people, and also we heard like a lot of people doesn't, oh, a lot of people doesn't like sweet bourbons. That's why I think it's not for everyone, but if you like. What is it really that sweet? If you like Ezra 7, right? Yeah, you think this is similar? I think it's very close. It's similar, but just higher proof? Higher proof, and I think it's, maybe it's even sweeter. It's definitely a ride, that's for sure. Hits you over the head with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the more I sip on it, like now it's not, it's not as sweet. I think it even gives like some black pepper. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I don't know, like. Definitely how very people like. people drink high proof stuff. What do you mean, how? I don't know, maybe it's better for cocktails or. No, this is definitely a sipping bourbon. Yeah. No one wouldn't mix this. Why would you want to dilute this? Okay. Um, overall, recommendation? Would you recommend or not? Yeah. Yeah. I would is it better than I think that? if you like Jude Daniels, and if you like high proof stuff, if you like um, sweet, like a caramel, spicy, Kind of bourbon, I think. Black peppery. Black peppery, yeah. I think it's tons of flavor. Perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay. I, I feel like you have to be like a Jeff Daniels kind of sure. Yeah. Fanboy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think we like Jeff Daniels, the Golden Label. This why it's kind of nice addition. But the the reason why we like the the Gold Jack Daniels because it punches like far above its weight. 
like it's on the same level as like a stag junior and the stag junior it's hard like on the secondary it's hard to get that's like a you know three hundred dollar bottle right mm -hmm. and so you get the gold label for sixty dollars and like you're on the taste or like quality wise you know mm -hmm. um does what about this like does it punch like a sixty dollar bottle or is it like could be compared to like more high end, high end rise, like let's say like an old Forester rye or something like that. I don't like old Forester, that's why it's hard to compare. I would never pay that much money for old Forester birthday bourbon or the president. <laughs> okay. Never. I think it's overrated. That's why. I think it's a good for sixty dollars. I don't know with what bottle I can compare it. Maybe Ezra 7, but Ezra 7 is also like 60 bucks bottle, right? Well, it's hard to get. It's like if you, that's yeah. MSRP, but usually like, I mean, you, you know, you see it for okay. a markup. Yeah, if more. you like Ezra 7 rye, you can get Jack Daniels rye. I think it's pretty on the same spot. Sweet, yeah, I wouldn't pay, food. I wouldn't pay secondary for it. I wouldn't pay 220 bucks for this. But it's, oh really? This is 220 on like, on Facebook and secondary groups and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. But if you can find a store for 60, it's good. Yeah. I mean, why would you buy... Why would you pay $260 for... 220 Okay, $220 if you can add 80 bucks and buy Stag. <laughs> but Stag is not rye. I don't know. This is different. <laughs> they don't have this in collect collection. I don't even know if you're a rye person. Honestly, I don't know if I can recommend it to you. It's like, because rye is very specific and this one is more like a Jack Daniels with some rye notes, but it's not like classic rye. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the classic rye? The classic rye? Don't say Old Ezra because that's a very different taste. No, rye. no. I think classic rye, it's something like, uh, like wild turkey rye. Mm -hmm. It's okay. very classic. It's not my cup of tea, but I think this is a like, classic rye. The Wild Turkey 101 It's rye. not yeah, sweet. Yeah. It's just like this, you can taste a lot of rye. And that's it. But it's not harsh. No. And it's low proof, right? 101. One medium, medium. Yeah. We have that, right? No, not the rye. Uh, overall, um, definitely, if you can find it for 60 bucks, 100% I'd say pull the trigger. Mm-hmm.